Alright, so sorry for the delay for this latest entry, but I have spent, uh, last night I spent about 10 to 12 hours in a studio with my band, and as a result, the, I really didn't want to listen to any more music at, than I could at that time, but I am back early in the morning to talk about the 2018 album from Cosmo Sheldrake called the Much Much How How and I. Now, Cosmo Sheldrake, I don't really have a lot of information about him. I mostly heard him because one of his songs, Birthday Suit, was getting some notoriety and popularity on the app uh, TikTok. And uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a very interesting song. Like, it does so much within its very short, only 80 second runtime. But, like, at the same time, I think a lot of this record also falls into that similar vein of very quirky, very weird, like, pop, but also just, like, I don't know, it's very well orchestrated. Like, I could imagine this being, like, the score to, like, a very, very mysterious, like, Disney film, I guess you could say. Maybe, like, a spooky Christmas movie or something like that. I don't know. That's the vibe that I'm sort of getting from this. Like, it's just, it's a very unique listen. Like, there's a lot of unique uh, orchestration, especially with the uh, woodwinds. Like, uh, there's a lot of bassoon work, clarinets, and flutes that are played all throughout this that have very, uh, very just unique uh, melodies to them that just give it a very well orchestrated vibe to say the least um vocally it's the uh cosmo sounds very much like uh he sounds very similar to the uh front man for alt j uh yeah i really don't have a lot to say about this record except i really liked it uh it's uh the ending is especially well constructed. Like, there's not a lot of focus on uh, Sheldrake's uh, vocals necessarily. It's a lot more pro production driven, especially given the amount of reprises for uh, Linger Longer and Linger a While. Um, what else? There was also just. There was also a couple songs where I don't think he sang on it at all. In fact, there was one where he had someone else sing on it for him. So, you know, go into this record with a lot more focus on the production and how, like, the interplay really works out a lot better than I think a lot of modern pop records do. Like, I keep thinking of a how John Bellion was describing one of his albums as being what he would want to turn into Disney to show that he can do, like, uh, orchestration work, but I'm thinking this fits a lot better into that vein. Like, I don't know, there's something mysterious about it, there's something eerie about it, but there's something also so much more inviting to it as well. But, uh, yeah, give this record a listen. I'm going to be putting a link to the uh, Bandcamp down in the description for you to check out. And uh, if you have any suggestions, and if you want to listen to any of the records that will be in my schedule, check them out. They'll be in the description down below, and also comment what you want me to listen to and give my first impressions on. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this, and if you want to continue this journey with me, this has been Pardon the Memes. See you tomorrow.